Use this recipe when you want to make a beautifully flaky all butter crust. I'm gonna show you a few ways how to do that. My name is Paul Tran and this is Paul Tran Baker Man. This makes two single pie crusts or it makes a pie crust where you have the crust on the bottom up below the pie and the crust on top covering the pie. That's a double pie crust. The ingredients are one and two thirds cups, that's 225 grams of all purpose flour, one tablespoon sugar, one teaspoon salt, 16 tablespoons or two sticks, 225 grams of cold butter. Cube your butter into smaller, more manageable chunks. Half a cup or 120 milliliters or grams of cold water. There's a couple ways to make this happen. You can cut the butter into flour with your hands, a fork, or a pastry blender. And you're gonna want them to come out to have tiny pebbly chunks. You can combine the ingredients into a food processor and pulse until you have those tiny pebbly chunks. And then add a small amount of water at a time until the dough just comes together. Separate into two equal discs and chill from 30 minutes to overnight. This chills the butter, making it easier to roll out later, and develops the gluten in the crust. That makes it stretchy and not crumbly. And flour my work surface. Spray my pie pan. Roll out about 12 inches across. So this is extra, I'm just going to trim around it. So there's still some overhang here. Then I'm going to tuck under this pie. Crimp the crust. You can use your fingers. Use a fork. A spoon. Scissors. Make a braid. Cut out shapes.
crust. Use a fork to poke holes. Use your imagination. What will be best for you? At this point, if your crust is too warm, put the film plane over the pie crust and just put it back in the fridge to firm it up again. If you have a filling that needs to be baked in the oven, fill and bake now. If you have a filling that only needs to be set as a custard, you should bake the crust first. This is called blind baking. Use baking beads or beans or rice to weigh down the crust. Otherwise, the butter will puff up and fill the pan. That's not cool. Bake at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, 200 degrees Celsius, or gas 6 for 20 minutes. Take out the baking beans and bake for another 5 minutes. So you see how it's all shrunken in in different places? I'm pretty sure that's because I tried a whole bunch of different um, patterns all around. And I'm very confident had I had the same pattern all around the entire time, you would see a beautifully <laughs> decorated pie crust. But it is beautifully baked. Now, I'm sprinkling this with cinnamon sugar specifically because I don't plan to put anything in it and I'm going to eat it just like a cookie. Because pie crust is delicious and it's also delicious when you have caramelized cinnamon and sugar in it. That's exactly what I want to do. So I'm going to pop this back in the oven for about five more minutes. So that's it for a beautiful, buttery, flaky crust. Here's a pro tip. If you aren't concerned about all that butter and you just need it to be a little bit easier to roll out, you can substitute one third of the butter for vegetable shortening. And that will actually keep it from um, being too tough to roll out. I like all butter. I also like it when I just do two parts butter, one part vegetable shortening. You'll see that if you actually do all shortening, it doesn't taste great. <laughs> it, it's missing a lot. To, um, it's exceptionally bland. So, um, yeah. For, oh. Um, I don't know why I just shoved some pie crust in my mouth in the middle of talking to y'all. But there's layering. It's beautiful. Um, yeah. <laughs> if you haven't already, subscribe to me. Um, Paul Tran Baker man and like the video let me know um, if you ever do do any sort of like pie crust um, design with hashtag Paul Tran Baker man I would love to see what you've done so let me know I'm gonna oh, just tear this up <laughs> savagely decimated but Look at those buttery layers. That's good pie crust.